Happy Feast of Christ the King to all of you. This weekend, this week, we celebrate Christ the Master, the Lord, the Master of all. Feast of Christ the King is the end of the liturgical year for Catholics. You might say it's the equivalent of Rosh Hashanah for the Jews. We begin a new year after that. And the heart of the Catholic year is meditation and love of Jesus. That's what it is. Thinking about him, meditating on him, and being absolutely uh, enamored with this wonderful plan that God became human to show us the way through life, through the vicissitudes of life and the challenges of life, with a confidence in the love of the, the immense love of God. This Feast of Christ the King, the scriptures give us a very strange passage. You know, you'd think for any religious group that, uh, you know, Feast of the the kingship of, of Christ would be uh, some victorious uh, gospel where he's uh, shining in, in white light. Here we have, on the contrary, the leaders scoffed at Jesus who was on the cross. He saved others. Can't he do it himself? If you're the king of the Jews, save yourself. And others were making fun of him, screaming out, who do you think you are? One of the criminals kept deriding him and said, come on, save yourself. Who do you think you are? And the other criminal said to the other, do not fear God. And he turned to Jesus and says, remember, Lord, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The attitude of a humble heart, the beginning of faith. And Jesus says, today you'll be in, king in the kingdom with me in paradise. Very strange gospel, eh? For the celebration of the king and the victory of Jesus, what do we see? A man on a cross dying being ridiculed. But that's the paradox of our Christian faith, that God's victory is not ours. It's, uh, not, it's not the way that we would do things. Uh, the victory of God is his gentle entering into our suffering and with us creating and bringing about this immense victory of Jesus and bring us into that victory. You know, yesterday I was at a I was in the palliative care visiting a number of people, and there was one lady. She was basically skeletal. She's a couple of hours, if not a, day, a couple of days or a couple of hours from her death, and her her husband was just just brokenhearted. Of course, completely normal, and and it was a very sad, but also for me, a remarkably victorious thing. I was seeing Jesus crucified right in front of me, as I saw this poor lady who could couldn't move anymore, coming to the end of her days. And I could just see Jesus crucified, holding her in, her in his arms and just saying, sweetheart, this is tough, but just wait, just wait and see. See, the victory of Christ is the victory of heaven. It's not a victory, uh, the, the, the feast of Christ the King is not us looking at Jesus and admiring him and saying, wow, aren't you wonderful? That's not what the feast of Christ the King is. Feast of Christ the King is the feast of Jesus' heavenly victory. It's the feast of heaven. And it's not just a feast for Catholics. It's a feast for all human beings who in their hearts are humble and, and, and respond to God's grace as best they know. It's a victory for all those that God is attracting to, to his kingdom, those who respond with generosity to him. It's a victory of heaven. And, and God's message is, do not be afraid because you'll be surrounded by your family, those people that you've loved, you've let go of. You'll see them again. You'll be with them. It's the victory of, of, of those who seek to understand God's mysteries. We will spend eternity exploring the magnificence of creation, saying, my God, how could you have done this? It's, it's, it's going to be a, a victory of great joy. And so the Feast of Christ the King is not just us admiring Jesus, but it's our victory. It's the victory that, that God has made for us to say, do not be afraid. I've, I've got a kingdom prepared for you. Rejoice, celebrate, dance. <laughs> in order to do that, we had planned out a dance, as a matter of fact, in the parish, just to celebrate Christ the King. And as you're probably well aware, um, nature had a different plan. And the sewers backed up, and we had to clean up the crap and the mess. And, oh, uh, boy, so we had to cancel this. But only, it's not canceled, pardon me, it's postponed. We will have our party, uh, but it's just a temporarily on hold as we 
clean up the, uh, the mess of the sewer back up, you know. So I wish you all a very blessed and holy Feast of Christ the King. It's a feast of heaven. And as you think of those people who've gone before you, and as you think of the trials and tribulations and difficulties you go through, we go through it with courage, we go through it with perseverance, but we also go through it with a light heart, knowing the goodness and the immensity of God, who says, it may be a tough right now, but don't be afraid. Trust me and, and, and walk in my ways, and you will be absolutely blown away by what I've prepared for you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So I think of that lady that I saw in palliative care yesterday, thinking, boy, she's going through just agony right now. But what a victory she will see soon. In fact, she's probably there right now. What a victory she will see and say, my goodness, this crucifixion has led to a magnificent count with God. So be blessed by the Lord. Rejoice. God is good. In the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Happy feast day.